So today I'm going to talk about a very important topic which is in terms of selecting your course. This is one of those topics which might sound boring to many of you but let me just tell you one thing that this is one of those topics which will actually determine your destiny in the UK. Personally for me and also the students whom I have met in the past, this is one of the most important topics. So personally for me, I came here for an undergraduate course or a bachelor's degree with an integrated master's and a placement year. But this video is going to be relevant to a lot of you because I know that most of you come here for a one year of master's degree. And this video is going to be really important for the ones who are the freshest. Sorry about saying too much of important, important again and again. But this video is going to be really again important for the freshest. And also if you have got an experience and you're coming here, for your master's degree this will again give you my own perspective that what kind of a course you should actually select so first and foremost my main point is that select a course which has got a placement year and let me explain you the reason for this now let us take a case that uh, you're in india uh, you've just finished your bachelor's degree and you've straight away applied for a master's degree so in between you don't have any experience at all so this is someone who is a fresher so for them uh, once they complete their master's degree they need to switch to a uh, worker visa which is a skilled worker visa and the skilled and the, if they're on a skilled worker visa for five years then you'll be able to get the permanent residency in the uk so that is the goal of someone who is coming here for a master's degree like generally for the students i know some of them just come for studies and then go back but most of most of them are the one which i talked about in my former part you know who want to actually are coming here for a worker visa getting settled okay so now for them they want a worker visa right that's the key thing over here now they need a worker visa Visa, so they need to go to a employer basically they have to go to an online website and then they have to apply for a specific job and they need to get a sponsorship letter from the employer now think about this now for example in my case right i'm doing chemistry now a lot of students uh, who are doing bachelors over here they most of the time they do a placement as well they do an internship like if they don't have a placement year they will go ahead and in the summers they do a internship for three months four months so now think about this now you're someone who has done just done a bachelor's degree you've just done that university stuff now uh, you are then doing your master's degree you've got good grades and then you've applied for a specific company okay whereas other guys like average he's got about like let's say 70 or 75 percent in his university but he has got an experience he know that how does the industry works and he's uh, and he's the one who is like a local candidate and you are the one who's an international candidate so it's more likely the employer will be selecting the one who has got an experience Experience. Leave about the fact that local versus international. You can keep that keep that stuff aside. Like I don't want to confuse you with that. I'll make a separate video on that. But take my assurance. Like these all things, this discrimination doesn't happen. Like at least with me, it has it has never ever happened with me. Okay. So the important point is that experience is the key. You need to get an experience. So when you're coming here as a freshers and let's say you've picked up let's say accounting and finance course which doesn't has got a placement so then you might be uh, might be finding it very challenging to get a sponsorship from a employer who like who who eventually will give you like a five-year worker visa then ultimately you can apply for permanent residency so there will be a difficulty to get the sponsorship from the employer if you don't have an experience so that's why my recommendation is especially for the freshers they need to get a course which has got a placement year now here for a master's degree sometimes it becomes of two years okay one year is for your core university stuff and the another one year is for an employment now i know i don't know why people think like this like uh, their one year get wasted because they've got this uh, two years of master's degree it's not like that you know come on like that's your career that's your profession you know like let's say it's a chemistry based course like you know if like one year is just for masters and second year is anyways like you your uh, opportunity to be working in the industry so you don't have to think as a two years of masters just think of it like you'll be able to get your studies plus you'll be able to get some industrial experience and now this industrial experience again once you've got this one year of experience your likelihood of getting a sponsorship really really increases you don't have to depend on that post study work visa you straight away get the worker visa now here i want to also make a like for even if you're coming for a bachelor's degree like me uh, i took the course which has got a placement year and now the story comes that uh, for the experienced people why they should also go for a placement year the story is that uh, so i got my internship so i'm here at university of Strathclyde, just behind me that's the main building over there so anyone who's coming there they know where i'm sitting over here so for university of Strathclyde, what they did was 
so I'm doing chemistry. So when I was in my year third, and in year fourth, it was my placement year. They helped me out with CV and the cover letter. Like you have to do a lot of your efforts. Like they will just give you a very general guidance. They will just give you a PowerPoint presentation. Like these are do's, these are don'ts. But anyways, you have to do it yourself. You know, just be careful about that. Uh, like anyways, like once you have made a draft, CV your cover letter, then you can send it to like career service over here, a Shwet client, and they'll be able to define it. But in my case, since it had a placement year, so I didn't have to go to the career service but i had a dedicated professor who was helping me out so that professor helped me to and uh, to be honest the professors are much better because they know about your specific industry they know what to mention whereas in the career service sometimes they are kind of a general person like who is looking at a cv who's looking at cover letter so they don't know like what are the key things which the industry needs so so that's a that, that that's a very important thing when you take this placement year maybe uh, the professor is the one who is guiding you actually so if if a professor is guiding you how to make a cv and a cover letter it becomes much better now let's say that you've done your cv and the cover letter now becomes like how you how you can get the placement now for the placement in terms of me like i had the placement in as a part of my degree program so the university uh, kind of published like these are the jobs uh, uh, companies which which are kind of hiring the students and you know you can go ahead and do internship or placement so this is the only only kind of help which the university will be giving you they will be just making aware that this is a place where vacancy is available but they won't be actually kind of uh, kind of favoring you that take uh, take jashandeep because he's at university of like take like rajesh like he's at the university of glasgow you know then becomes your own effort to secure an internship or a placement. And the good thing about internship or placement is that you don't need to have a prior experience. If you have got a prior experience, it's good for an employer. But for example, in my case, I didn't have any experience of chemistry beforehand. And so I applied for this company called PNG Procter and Gamble. At that time, I didn't know much about them. But now I know it's like one of the top consumer good company in the world like it's a billion dollar company like billion, like more like multi-billion company actually isn't it oh i worked with procter and gamble and i didn't have any experience and i was like straight away recruited and now comes the key like why am i suggesting this for the experienced uh, students also now what they do is like when you do an internship or a placement they do your assessments okay basically like basically the like, company is looking in the internship can we hire this candidate for a graduate job role and now this is a trick so for me, you know, my I had three different reviews. My first review was like, I'll say between bad to average. Second one was like, I knew like where are my weak points. My supervisor was like, uh, like straight on my face. Like he told me, this is where you need to improve. And I improved. Second one was good. And in the second one, he told me, if you do like the top, like the excellent, then they will be giving you something called a recommendation to hire. And that's what happens so in my fifth uh, in my third review i performed exceptionally well and i was able to get a recommendation to hire now with this recommendation to hire now let's say uh, i can again work with png at any time at any location so they gave me a form that uh, after graduating from university of Strathclyde, where would you like to work with us would you like to work in germany in india in uk where would you like to work for us so essentially i've got this now recommendation to hire so i'm a bit relaxed in my brain that like once I've done my integrated masters that I, at least I've got PNG in my hand, I can straight away go there and work and PNG can give me a worker visa. So this is a great opportunity that, uh, you know, like uh, you can do your placement, get an experience if you perform well over there and you can essentially get a graduate job role as well. So this was the main point of this video. I hope it was helpful. I'll see you in my next video. Make sure to give it a like and subscribe for regular updates. Cheers. Bye bye.